It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Sol Cerveza Lager. It's a 330ml can coming in at 4.5% ABV. Got a nice looking can. The beer's from Mexico. Started brewing in 1899. Without further ado, let's get the can out. The beer out of the can even. Into a glass and see what we get. Bit of a messy opening. I have to throw the beer in the glass, hence the rather large head. Here we go. We got a one finger white head. Look at the carbonation. Straw-coloured lager here, very clear to look at, no haziness going on there. Let's get the aroma. Mmm. A little bit of Mexican spirit here, uh, not spirit as in alcoholic spirit, more Mexican passion, Mexican spirit. You can imagine people dancing in the street with a with one of these in their hands. It's spicy, it's peppery, there's a certain lemon and maybe a touch of lime aroma going on. Mm, it smells okay. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Light, crisp, drinkable, extremely refreshing. Hot summer's day out there again today, boiling hot. Just needed something to refresh myself. You can see I'm, I'm a bit, bit uh, pink today with the heat. It's extremely drinkable, it really is. Probably been brewed with maybe corn or rice. It's not. It's not striking me as a a one hundred percent malt lager. It's too clinical for that. It's too clean. It's like trying to differentiate a bowl of rice from China and a bowl of rice from Mexico. Rice is rice, there's no real difference in the flavour. It's very, it's a consistent product. Hence, why brewers use rice and corn in their beers is to brew at that consistent level. The downside to that consistent level is that you lose flavour in the beer. If, it, if this was an all malt lager, I'd probably be really happy with it. But with it being, maybe rice or corn. You get a little bit of sweetness to begin with, slight syrupiness, and then it's all clean flavours, it's all kind of cutthroat, clean, refreshing, carbonated lager. It is spicy on the back end, a little bit spicy. Hear the carbonation coming back. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of lime maybe on the back end, coming from the hops in the beer. But generally, it's for it's for a hot Mexican day. I mean, it probably gets well up into the 40s in Mexico. You probably need something like this to refresh yourselves with. It's been brewed in the Netherlands. The, probably the same brewery where they brew Desperados. Ah, there we go. Heineken UK. So it's made by Heineken these days. Right. Uh, I talked about that sweetness, didn't I? Right, okay, so we got water, malted barley, glucose syrup, hop extract. So, although it is a, it is a malted barley beer, I'll take it back, it's not brewed with rice. Um, but, on the other hand, on the other hand, it does have glu glucose syrup. That was the thing that I could taste in the beer, the sweetness in the beer, that made me think of corn. It is clinical though, it is really kind of 
dry and drinkable, like a... Like, I wouldn't be surprised if there was rice in the beer. It's okay. It's freezing cold. It's refreshing me. Um, it's not offensive like that Desperado's Red I had the other day. That was terrible. That was a real... I had to pour that beer down the sink. I couldn't drink it. This... I'm going to take it in the garden and finish it off. It's... It's drinkable, it's wet, it's refreshing. I can understand why it's probably a big seller in Mexico. Rating for Sol Cerveza Original from Mexico. Oh, the brewery name, by the way, is Moctezuma Brewing Company. Uh, under supervision of Cerveceria Cut Cutomic Moctezuma. Tamiza, sorry about the pronunciation, I do apologise. Gonna rate it. If you're a craft beer drinker out there, if you really enjoy a craft beer, a port or a stout, an IPA, double IPA, sour beer, you're probably really not gonna enjoy this beer too much. But if like me on a I love my craft beer like like most people these days if like me you want something to refresh yourself on this boiling hot Welsh day um, then then this is gonna do the trick it really is and it was cheap I think I paid no more than a pound for this can in my local shop it's a it's a it's a six out of ten six out of ten from real old craft beer Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!